Here's a fascinating new discovery. A man who's found a whole lot of these rocks which luminesce after a light has shined on them. Now, it takes a special light. Uh, you know what a black light is, where it used to make all the posters glow in the dark. You had to make the yellows and certain colors of pinks and orange really pop real well. Or if you've ever seen anybody uh, grow artificial coral reefs where they have the live saltwater fish, but the corals in there and they have this intense bluish purple lights on there, uh, those are known as actinic. And they make uh, all the corals glow, but also they make these rocks glow. Quite interesting. And only a, there's only a few of them that he's found out of it, which is quite interesting too. And all these rounded off river rocks here are supposedly had been brought here during the last glaciation and had been rubbed down and made effectively out of the last uh, receding of glaciers. Now discoveries of gems and minerals occur every year, but for instance, one man from Michigan made the discovery which changes his life when he came across some glowing rocks on the beaches of Lake Superior in Michigan now, the rocks, which he called euperlites, emit a weird glow seeming to be partially molten rock. Eric Rintamaki, who is an expert geologist, a gem and mineral dealer, made his life-changing discovery in June 27 of this year, um, 2017, after hunting for rocks in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, bringing with him a black light. The black light helps illuminate the glowing rocks, which he said uh, that uh, litter the beaches of Lake Superior. At that time, a nighttime excursion along the shore of Lake Superior in Michigan, Eric Rintamaki found rocks which glowed like lava with the help of UV light. I indeed would probably give them the name of uh, dragon eggs. I could see these easily in some props and things like that being called a dragon egg. You just take like a actinic blue LED and aim them onto them, and there you go. It's a dragon egg. Uh, it's real simple to pull off, too. I could see it's going to happen real shortly. Yeah. Uh, he sent the so-called Euperlites to Michigan Tech University as well as the University of Saskatchewan, where the rocks were confirmed to be a type of cyanite, which contains sodalite. And a sodalite, which usually can be found in Canada, is uh, what actually has the responsibility for the glowing, as well as the iridescent nature of the rocks. Sodalite is often blue, though, but with the rocks which Rinchigamani discovered, which are mostly made up of granite or basalt. Also, these uh, geologists have confirmed that this is the first set of stones which was officially tested as well as confirmed. Um, so, 43 old ma year old man, you can find him on social media. He can sell these things right now for about $30 a pound, and I'd say they're maybe worth a little more than that, especially if you made a little display out of it. So, let's take a look at this here, real quick. A uh, new type of luminescent rock discoverer on the shores of Lake Michigan. Gem and mineral expert Eric Rintamaki made a life changing discovery in June last year. During a nighttime excursion along the shore of Lake Superior, he found rocks that glowed like lava with the Look aid of that. a UV light. He sent the Uper lights to Michigan Tech University, I can't as well stand as the that University voice. of Saskatchewan. I'm just going to let you show the pictures. I can't stand the robotic voices here, but you can see some of these he's found. You can see why I call them dinosaur eggs. And the way they glow, certain ones have different colors to them. Different sets of glows. Now, this is what the common rock would look like, but this is what they look like when you walk along a beach. All of a sudden, it just pops. You can see when it's bathed in that light what it gives off. Just amazing. So, he's all of a sudden coming quite famous, and all of a sudden, a rock dealer becomes somebody. And next thing you know, there's hundreds of people wandering around on beaches who have bought these things. But uh, he sells them online. It's got some real neat specimens. Some of them only have little flecks running through them that are almost a yellow, bright orange. It's pretty neat. In fact, here's one right here that's like more of a fragment that you see in front of you here that's different colors. But yeah, it's got uh, it's got people looking around beaches trying to find them, and uh, it's not too difficult. Uh, he hasn't found all of them, of course, yet, and uh, so there's still some left around, indeed, with these people right here that came out after hearing about this. Uh, to a common beach that's uh, familiar to them, they brought out a black light, and lo and behold, there it is. Uh, whenever they put the blue light just onto it, though, it doesn't drown it out with that purple so bad, and then you can really see the fire of this dragon egg. I want one. I definitely want one. Like, share, and subscribe, guys, and enjoy.